Hey guys, Cloud here, and I am back with a kind of simple tutorial. We might have some more complicated stuff in the future, but for now we are going over if else statements in data packs. This is actually something that I have been meaning to cover because it's something that I kind of knew about, but never really used too much. But since I started to use it a little bit in recent creations that I've been working on, uh, the use cases have kind of made themselves apparent to me. And I think a lot of you guys who come from a coding background will like this sort of functionality. So we're gonna make this really simple. We're gonna make if else statements using an example. So the basic principle is that there is this command called return. So if I use execute run return, what this will do is it will end a function early and return a value. However, in return, you can run some another function. So you can just put the word run and then you can make it run another command or another function or whatever you want it to do. And so I could run a function that does a whole bunch of stuff or I could just run something that says say. And so the basic principle is running this will exit out of a function and stop execution, which is similar to if you have an if statement that succeeds and it goes into that and it does not enter the else statement. All right, so the example we're going to go over is basically a basic if, else, if, and else statement. Now, to make this easier, I'm going to use custom data. That way the checks can be done in one line. So I'm going to do slash give at p diamond, and I'm going to type custom data, tab complete that, and we're going to give ourselves some custom data. That custom data will be uh, let's call it uh, diamond, right? And then we're going to have a second one called emerald. Now to figure out what data we need to check for, you have to do data get entity at s selected item. And this is the item they're holding. Then we're going to follow copy the path that we see on screen. So dot components gets us one layer deeper. Then we can go one layer deeper with custom data. Then we can go one layer deep, deeper with diamond. Now, if we copy this, we can go execute if entity at s, uh, if data entity at s, and then paste that. And it will pass when you're holding that specific item, but it will not pass when I'm not holding that specific item because I'm checking specifically for that data. All right, then likewise, we can change this word diamond with emerald, and it will work for the emerald, but not for the diamond. Okay, so I'm going to assume that you already have a data pack set up somewhere. In this case, we have a couple empty functions. None of them really matter, but we just have one where we want to do this if else test for. So inside this function, we just need to paste our same command we did. So execute if data entity at s. So if you have the, let's do diamond first, then run, and this is where we use return run say diamond. And so in this case, we could put a function here, but I'm just going to make it say diamond, but you can make it do a whole bunch of stuff using a function and it'll do all the stuff in that function and then it will exit out of this function. So then we paste the same thing and we change it to emerald. And then finally, all you have to do to get else statements in there, because this is like an if else. So if this didn't run, then it will test this one. And if this doesn't run, then finally we have else. So here's if elif and here's else. So else, you just have to do what you would do if both of those failed. So nothing. And that is literally it. Very simple command, very easy tutorial. I'm going to type slash reload. Then I'm going to show you guys a little test. So I'm going to run it. It says diamond. I'm going to run this. It says emerald. I'm going to run this. It says nothing. So that's it, guys. Nothing too complicated, but I just thought that I wanted to make people aware of this capability. And so you may come into a situation where using this is extremely useful. And I did when I was working on a new uh, UI system, which I might make a video on just to update my previous UI tutorial uh, or like more like a UI demo example. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that can make UI a lot simpler since you're able to exit early instead of running a bunch of other stuff, which, which that the early exiting capability protects you from a lot of weird behavior that would happen in the previous system if you did things wrong. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.